Here's the GED skill we'll be going over. Know that expressions with a denominator of zero are undefined and have no solution. So first thing, let's figure out what do we mean by the word undefined? Well, for all purposes here, let's just say it's weird. It's going to be possible, but it's weird. Um, it's not that the answer is necessarily zero. It's just it's undefined. It's a little bit weird. So let me give you an example. Typically, we're talking about fractions here. And fractions are a part over the whole, or they can be equal to like a part over the total. Well, when you have two parts of something, but you don't have a total or the, the whole is zero, that's undefined, okay? But it's possible in math, and, and we'll go over some examples. So to have two of something that doesn't add to anything is weird, right? So that's undefined. So here's the process that we're gonna go through when we're answering these. So ignore the numerator or the top of the expression. So in this case, we would ignore the two. Set the denominator to the bottom of the expression equal to zero. We've got that. And then we would solve it, okay? So it's really a three-step process. Let's go through three different examples. What are the undefined points in this numerical expression? So the top part here, again, we're gonna ignore. And what we want to do is set this bottom part, or the, the denominator, x plus 14 equal to zero. So hopefully you can think it through, um, and hopefully you realize, well, if it were a negative 14, a negative 14 plus 14 equals zero, right? And therefore that is our answer. But let's say you can't like see it, you know, you can't solve it so quickly. The process would be, I'm just rewriting it again here, you would subtract 14 from both sides. You're doing the inverse operations to cancel them out, right? So these cancel out and you get x is equal to zero minus 14, which is just negative 14, okay? So here's our answer, negative 14. That makes this undefined. So notice the answer was not zero. The answer is negative 14. We want it to equal zero. But x in this case would have to be equal to negative 14 for it to be undefined. All right, here's the second one. What are the undefined points in this numerical expression? So we've got the 8. We're just going to completely ignore that 8 in the numerator. What we want is this x squared minus 9. Okay, so hopefully you can see if we can get 9 minus 9, that equals zero. So what we need is this to be equal to nine. So there's a couple ways we could do, if we have x squared equals nine, well, what are the two different ways, or what are the ways that we can do this? So we can take the square root of both sides, that cancels this out, and x is equal to the square root of nine. So hopefully you realize, well, three times three is equal to nine, because this is what number times itself is nine. That's what this is a question. This like kind of this radical sign or this square root sign here is three times three. But hopefully you also realize, could it be a negative three times a negative three? And the answer is yes. So there's actually two answers here that would work. We could use three or negative three to make this equal to nine, and we get nine minus nine, and that makes it equal to zero, and we end up with eight over zero when x equals three or negative three. That's what we're meaning here. So x is three or negative three, and when it's undefined, when it's zero, okay? All right. <clears throat> Here is the third one. What are the undefined points for this numerical expression? Again, we're ignoring this uh, top of it. We're not gonna do anything with it. Um, and then what we want is x squared plus three x, and we need this all equal to zero, all right? And so use the answer choices to help you here. So if we put in, let's, let's put in a zero. If we put in, let's, let's try zero here. If we put in a zero squared plus three times zero, 
does that equal zero? Well, zero times itself, or zero, is zero, and three times zero is zero. So yes, zero works. Okay, let's see if um, negative three works. Well, let's do negative three squared plus three times negative three. Does that equal zero? Well, negative three squared would be equal to negative three times negative three, and negative times a negative is a positive nine. And this is three times a negative three, which would be equal to plus negative nine. So nine plus a negative nine is the same thing as saying nine minus nine, which is equal to zero. Uh-huh, so zero and negative three work. Let's see, why doesn't three work? Why couldn't it be zero and three? Well, let's do that one over here just to prove it. So if we put in a three here and we square it, plus a three times a three here, will this equal zero? Three times three is nine. And now we have another three times three, which is another nine. So nine times nine equals 18, which doesn't equal zero. That's why we can't use three. So that one's wrong, and that one has to be wrong. One won't work either, and seven won't work. So this is our answer. This is how we make this fraction undefined. So this fraction is undefined when x equals zero or x equals negative three, okay? So that's what they mean by undefined. We need the bottom of that fraction to be equal to zero. So there are some other undefined situations that you might see on the GED. Um, one is realizing that the slope of a perfectly vertical straight up and down line is undefined. So here's my coordinate um, crosshairs here, my x and y, and here's the line, straight up and down. The slope would be the rise over the run. You could pick any points on here, and you know, let's call it 10, let's call it 3, it doesn't really matter, but there is no run. There's no run. And so the slope of a straight up and down, perfectly vertical line is undefined. Okay, because the denominator is zero. Now, here's another situation. The square roots of negative numbers. These are undefined, all right? So this is a question, the square root of negative four. The question is, what number times itself is negative four? Times itself is negative four. That's what that question is. Well. Let's think it, could it be two? We know that two times two equals positive four. All right, well, that doesn't work. So there's a big X there. Could it be negative two then? Um, that also gets you positive four. Well, how could you possibly get a negative four? Well, you could get a negative four if you took two times a negative two, but guess what? These don't fit this situation. These are two different, completely different numbers. Positive 2 and negative 2 are not the same, so this one doesn't work, and this one doesn't work, and this one doesn't work. So it's undefined. We don't, there isn't a way, there isn't a number, but could we write this, like, mathematically? And so it's just weird, right? It's undefined. And so that's the other example of an undefined example.